gonna change Whoa. the world. Yeah. Are we? With my hockey stick. We're back. We're gonna back. make a real difference. Jerry's back. Feed the poor and heal the sick. Oh, Jerry's back. Woo-hoo. Welcome back to Canada, Jer. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, wow, well, we missed you last week. Yeah, we needed you. Where were you? I had a very nice vacation to Costa Rica. Woo-hoo-hoo. Oh. I don't have the beach music queued up. No? Yeah. No steel drums or anything? No. <laughs> oh, it was uh, it was a great trip. Uh, planned on, uh, I think we were gone for like 14 days. The thing with was the vacation. 14? Maybe, maybe 13, 12? I don't know. Wow, Give us the Rika nice. recap. Oh, the Rika recap. All right. Yes. <laughs> uh, so first of all, uh, no hockey rinks in Costa Rica. Whoa. So, bit of a downer. A surprise. I didn't know that. Lots yeah. of water, though. I think there might be actually one hockey rink, but it's at like a private hotel or something like that. Like they, mm. they don't they don't play hockey there. I'm surprised you didn't really look it. I <laughs> considered. I is considered. Costa Rica an island? Is it an island? It is an isthmus. What's that? Hmm. Here's your fun fact of the day. It's uh, where there's water on each side. Isn't that a peninsula? Oh, so it's. Like... I think it's a pen. Wait, is it a peninsula yeah. if it goes like uh, like? If it comes it, from land and it peaks out and there's water on both sides. But also the tip. I think the peninsula is like the tip. So what's it attached to? I mean, what? it's just a, it is a tip in relativity to the, to the. Well, an isthmus, I think, is connected to land on each side. Oh, maybe. But I don't know if it's technically an isthmus because I think it's only if it's like a th- very thin. Anyways, it's, I think, connected like Honduras and. Okay. You know, We're Canadians. Ec- we don't know about this stuff. I'm so bad with geography. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> My grandpa uh, was a geography teacher. And yo. I'm bad that I don't know geography. You could drive to Costa Rica if you want to. You have to go through, obviously, the United States, then Mexico, and then some other of those other countries. Ole. So we know not it's not an island then. It is not, not an island. island. No. If you can drive there. I learned something. It, I don't know why I thought Costa Rica was an island. It but. feels like an island. Like you go there and you feel like because you're going to the beach and like the, yes. the ocean and all is that. Is it stuff. Costa or Costa? How do you? Costa, Costa. I'm not sure. And I was. I always say Costa Rica. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I Costa. think I recently started saying Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Like it's it's more fancy. Nice. Costa. Costa Rica. Costa. Rica. Costa. <laughs> yeah. So no, no hockey rink, and uh, it it takes a little while to get to where we wanted to go. We were going to Santa Teresa, which is like a surf beach, and you have to fly into the main airport, which is San Jose. But to get there to Santa Teresa, you have to drive and then take a ferry across like this, you know, Bering Strait mm-hmm. <laughs> type thing, yeah, yeah, like a, yeah, yeah. a big body of water yeah. that takes you to the other side. You can drive all the way around, but it takes forever, right? So you, you drive, take the ferry, and then drive another hour to get to. The, so it's okay. it's a lot of travel. Mm. Uh, yeah. So our first night, we just stayed with a friend in San Jose, and <laughs> I was standing on the. Um, the balcony, listening to the cicadas, and her her condo is like up on this like mountain side sort of thing. So you look over like the city a bit, okay. and I'm just looking around, watching the cars go around. I'm like, not not a single one of these people has hockey practice today. Not a single one. <laughs> not n- none none of them ever e- is going to sign up for hockey. Did you feel there's, there's no spring tryouts? No no one's getting ready for tryouts. Did you ever feel further away from home? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm just like, what? What do they do? What do they even do? They're surfing, baby. <laughs> they're surfing. They're absorbing those sun rays. Yeah, they're playing soccer. What language do they speak there? It's Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So I, I was gonna do this whole podcast in Spanish. You know, hola amigos. Gracias. Yeah. Muy bueno. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> learned a little. He picked up a little, uh, uh, little lingo there. A, right? a little. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so yeah, the 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 first day was just me contemplating what they even do in this country because there's no hockey to be played. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you were thinking about hockey on your vacay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I can't. a little bit. My first love, you know. Anyways, uh, then then we got to the beach and I decided to um, check if hockey players truly can play any sport. Because we talked about this before. Oh, you know my take. I, I think hockey players are the most versatile athletes out there. I agree. You give me a baseball, I'm going to smack that ball. I'm going to pitch it. I can throw it. I can hit it. Badminton. Football. I'm football. tossing a tight spiral. Mm-hmm. And, soccer. And, and I could catch that and get a t- t- touchdown, no problem. No problem. Give me a soccer ball. I, I might not be great, but no. I, can, I can move it upfield. Body check someone. You could slide tackle. I, I can run. I can sprint. I can like kick. Ovi. Yeah, the body. Right. Oh yeah, the body. like you're, no one's getting around you. You may not be able to dribble that soccer ball, but you know yeah, no yeah. one's getting around you. No, I'm not. That ball without <laughs> being put on their bum. No fancy footwork over here, but if you gave it to me, in the you crease, might take a red card. Right? But. Yeah, I might take a red card every time <laughs> out of the game. But guess what? It's gonna be and and give me some racket sports. I mean, I can bang a tennis ball around. I might not be too accurate. 
Badminton, no problem. I'll no problem. I'll what s- sport are we talking smash here? Smash that shuttlecock over the net all day long. <laughs> I was a prodigy. I won grade nine badminton champion when I was in grade nine. And, and like you just stepped on. Don't even get me started with badminton. Yeah, I was good at badminton. Hayden was also a badminton That's what I'm prodigy. I'm saying there's <laughs> probably not a sport we can't play. It, and then let's move on to surfing. So, so surfing, I'm like, can can I just grab a board and surf? So I went and grabbed one, got out to the uh, the, the waves, paddle a couple of times. First time. Almost got up on the board. Second time, really close. Third time, I'm standing, I'm surfing. Did you, did you get a take contract? Lessons? I did not take any lessons. Did they sign you no. to a, a one year contract? There were some scouts. There the were LC? some. Yeah. There were some scouts there. <laughs> well, and, uh, the amateur they, surf comp. Or? They, they, they saw the 38 year old and saw some real potential. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No talent recognizes talent. You know, yeah. <laughs> surfing is actually pretty interesting because there is an easy entry into it. With hockey, it's like to learn to skate. There isn't an easy way to learn to skate. Mm. You have to put skates on your feet and learn. Yes. There's no easy skates. It's a lot of extremity. There's no easy and... skates. No. no. There's yeah. no easy ice and hard ice. But with surfing, like, there's easy waves. Like, if you're just sur- surfing the white water, mm-hmm. it's, it's easy. Yeah. The waves aren't that big. Well, I think it depends on where you're at. Like, That's if you true. have easy waves, like, some places you go and it's... Ta- well, so the first, the real first time I went to go out... I got absolutely punished. Yeah. The, the sea was angry. Yes. Right? So did that's... Greet, did you greet the sea? Uh, I <laughs> or tried. You, or you're supposed to greet the sea before... Uh, oh, did, yeah? Show like, me, give, the give, ocean, give, like, greet the ocean, like... I I, sh- I showed my respect ritual. to her. Yeah. But but how would you greet, greet the sea? He, he might have had a bit of resentment because it wasn't frozen. So then maybe it sensed that... Oh, I, I was checking. I was checking <laughs> if it was frozen. Yeah, like, morning. I think <laughs> greeting the sea, I think it's like a spiritual greet. Like, mm. you're just, you... Oh, there was a connection, yeah. Yeah, you definitely, you, as you're... You know, about to hop in, like you, you know. Oh, I express, express gratitude. Yeah, yeah. Gratitude, yeah. like there for sure. Like I was standing there in awe of the ocean. Um, actually, no, sorry, that that wasn't my first. It was the after my first get up. I went to go in the morning. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a surfer now, right? So I went at like six in the morning when all the kids were asleep. Here's the thing: when you go on vacation, um, you don't. If you go with kids. You don't get to do it's anything. Not a vacation. No, you. <laughs> That's are, what I was saying yeah. last week. I said he's got kids with him. Yes. Yeah. Oh my you're, goodness. You're not going on your vacation. You're going on their vacation. Yes. And you are entertaining those. You're children. a tag along. Yes. <laughs> so like you, last week I said I can't stand kids. <laughs> But you I feel did, like that's wrong. Did. I feel like I no, that's not. The it's, thing is, it is right. It's exactly right. I couldn't stand them. I couldn't do it, Jerry. I, I, I enjoy seeing their happiness, mm-hmm. but I also just want to do just once do something that I want to do. Three like, of them's crazy, and and it's not so much that I don't get to do what I want to do. It's just I don't get to do how I want to do it, right? So, for example, yeah. you take three kids to the beach. There's a two year old that. Oh my right? goodness, bro! Number one is you don't want any of them to get taken by the ocean. Oh. Right? Or by another individual. Well, that's number two. <laughs> right? You don't want them to get kidnapped. That I was guess that's my fear as a kid. I'm going to get kidnapped. That, that's a solid one, too, right there, yes. I guess. It, it's either or. Yeah, you don't want you want to go home with all three of them. You don't want your kids to go missing. Yeah. Yes. yeah. We'll, yeah we'll put it right there. That's always number one priority. So, kid so, doesn't mi- go missing. So the, there's the danger on land, and then also the danger when you take them out in the water. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? So you pretty much just can't leave them. Right? So I can't, I can't be like, yeah, I'm going to go surf now. Well, Sammy is on shore, so I could. But then I'm ditching all three of them on her, which isn't really fair, because then yeah. she doesn't get and to sun tan. And she falls asleep. Then... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? Right? So it's like, we gotta we got to have zone coverage there. Yes. There's, yes. There, it's three it's versus team two. Team defense. There's no we almost need man to man. There's no man on man, unless we get a nanny. <laughs> then maybe. Yeah, right? okay. Yeah, no man to man defense. Zone coverage. Zone, sure. zone coverage. Uh, and the two-year-old is just a wild card, right? She does whatever she wants. Yes. She might run straight into the face of a wave. <laughs> Yeah, and right? then gone. She, and she has no idea right that the ocean. because the tide went up out like 50 feet that a, another like 20-foot tall wave is about to come and crash and then yeah, walk. She, she doesn't know that. She's like, ooh, I'm going to run, get that and seagull. She plots her face in ah. the sand, and then now what? <laughs> no, now, where's dad? <laughs> yeah. What happened? <laughs> so so I'm like, I'm going to go surfing, and then she's like, okay, take Mason with you. I was like, all right. But, like, Mason's nine. He's not going to hit those barrels like I would. Absolutely. And right? I'm trying to ride barrels. Yeah. He's a hockey player, that, but he's not fully developed Yeah, that yet. nine-year-old athleticism is different. No, than he wants to ride the boogie board. year old pro. He, he wants to ride the boogie board in the whitewater. Yes. Right? Yeah. Which is fun. Yes. It's and a little and terrifying. Dad's like, I want to stand up and, you know, I want, show this beach. T- tell me something. <laughs> show me something more cooler than... Riding inside the barrel of a wave, crouched down, and then like touching the wave. Is oh, there any? Is there anything cooler than that? No, there's nothing more athletic than that, and there's nothing 
that's going to enlighten the beach more than a I'll surfer. tell you what's more Crushing cool than that. Wave. You're yeah. doing that wearing hockey skates. <laughs> Yeah, that would be I don't know. a sight. That would be a sight to see. It would be a sight. That would be It'd difficult. Be a sight, but like <laughs> barefoot on a board, crouched down inside a barrel, and just just skimming the wave with your steezers. You're steezing. Oh. The whole beach is just like this guy is steezing, man. Right? I want to do sty right like, there. Like that's sty. This episode is brought to you by Muskoka Brewery. Oh, one of my favorite. No. My favorite, my favorite craft brewer, Muskoka Brewery. You can get this delicious uh, beer made in Muskoka. Pretty much everywhere. Is it LCBO? Beer store? Grocery, grocery store, yeah. And what beer are we talking about here, Jerry? Well, they got the Tread Lightly, which is their light beer. It's like a light lager. Mm-hmm. And they have dropped the price. It used to be a premium mm. case, and now it is uh, pretty comparable in price to all the other guys that you normally buy. Definitely recommend picking up that Tread Lightly. Uh, great tasting local craft beer. And they actually just came out with uh, some another option. The Veer, mm. which is a non-alcoholic beer. I like, I love this, actually. I'm excited to try that. Because I don't always, you know, I'm trying to cut back on the alcohol a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So they have an, a hazy IPA Veer. I see here in the show notes something about 78% of people that drink alcohol also drink non-alcoholic drinks it, as a promotion of healthy life, lifestyle. So that's smart. where I'm at over here, the yeah. non-alcoholic drinks. Hey, take a couple days off and, and grab the non-alcoholic version, mm. right? Maybe that's your All week. ingredients made in Muskoka? Yeah, all natural, dude. Jeez. So a uh, huge thanks to Muskoka Brewery for sponsoring the pod, and grab yourself some Tread Lightly or some non-alcoholic beer. The beer. Available at LCBO Beer Store. Let's get back to the pod. Stop. Now, so I'll tell you this about surfing is that you got to pay your dues. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I'm talking about, like, I could just go surf those barrels. No, I wouldn't. I would get abused by the ocean first for, like, a few months before I'd ever get inside a barrel. Well, you said to learn how to swim around those waves. Like, go out without a surfboard. Oh, fair. Or, like, yeah. just learn how mm, to, to read, navigate. To read a wave. And when you have to, like, duck down. Like, those big ones. Yeah. When they come in, they Ooh. could slam you oh, in yeah. off the ground. Like, you got to read them. You got to read the ocean. Yeah. You got to understand the water. There's life jackets that they um, have, like if the, on the big, big waves, mm. where if you get crushed down, you have to blow it up, and they send you to this. That's smart. Yeah, you, so you don't get undertow, or yeah. there's like it's like the reverse parachute. Oh, the ocean is yeah. dangerous, dangerous. Place, I, I felt like I wanted to wear my hockey helmet the one time I went out there. Oh, you got rocks. Is there a reef there? There's like rocks here and there. Right. No, no real but reef. You there. slam off the ground like that. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. The, the ocean can be, uh, like eight feet deep. Yeah. And then 10 seconds later, it's, no. it's sh- like yeah. a foot and a half. Yeah. Like I'm sitting there and I'm like, yeah, I can stand up just fine. And then a few waves come and now I'm like, now I can't touch the bottom. Oh. So it's like you could be surfing thinking you're in 10 feet of water, but then by the time the wave comes oh. and takes you. You got a face full of salt water. Yeah, you can That's see. Oh. <laughs> but, but the thing about learning to surf, it's way different than learning to play hockey because I'd say the hardest thing about learning to surf is the learning part. Like it's <laughs> really no 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's different here. It's different here because uh, it's hard to learn. It's not hard to stand on a board. Mm. It's not hard to l- stand on that board and and ride the wave in, but it can be extremely difficult to get out there. It's exhausting. <laughs> it's exhausting. Like to get you have to you surfed s- one or yeah. you missed the wave. Yeah, and now it's like. You gotta paddle, paddle, if, paddle. If if the sea is angry, you gotta paddle, paddle, paddle. Wave comes, you smacks gotta, you in the face. You gotta duck under it, or you gotta get on your board, flip over, pull it down, so the wave comes and then over you. Do you. It at the wrong time, and yeah. it, you thought you you thought you did it right, and then the wave still comes and right? claps. So you, you come up thinking <laughs> now, that you're clear, and there's another wave coming. Now the Boom. now the board's flying Boom. away, and your, so, your so legs getting ripped off by the board. A good comparison <laughs> is imagine you're a beginner hockey player. It's your first time going out. Tough to imagine, you, but you yeah. Get, it's tough to imagine, with you. right? You got your, your rental skates on. Mm-hmm. You go out to an, a nice sheet of ice, right? And and Jacob Truba is there. <laughs> <laughs> and right, be him, right behind him is Cronwall, yeah. right? And right behind him is Ryan Reeves. And you're out there, and you're just trying to learn. And here comes Truba. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Elbow to the face. Yeah, right. you, you get, get up, you, you get, get up, you revive. You're like, how did I survive, <laughs> you, Truba? You get up and oh. you're like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna try to learn how to balance on these hockey skates. And you take a few strides. 
here comes Cronwall. Boom! <laughs> just hip check. Cronwall. Hip, hip check. It's you're right Cronwall. into the oh. boards. And how did he get up from that? <laughs> you get plastered. Oh, and he's going back right? for more. They're going to need to get concussion protocol. You hear that squeegee? How does he not go to the dark room after that? <laughs> here, here's your face. <laughs> down the glass. And you, you peel yourself up off the ice. Oh, I'm going to keep on going. Let me... Let me just do a few push strides, just a few push strides. And then here comes Ryan Reeves coming right at you, and he drops the gloves, oh, yeah. bop, 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 oh. drops you. And you're just oh. sitting there. Yeah, there. Yeah, now the board's flying away. <laughs> and then Truba circles back around yeah, to do it again. Exactly. Why you did this <laughs> yeah. in the first place. Re- Reeves punches you so hard, your helmet and your skates fly off. And your kid's in the crowd <laughs> watching Dad and, get oh, fumbled. Yeah, and, and not only that, imagine the, the stands are filled with just random strangers watching you try to learn, right? Because the beach is filled with people. Yeah, and no one's doing anything. So, like, if anyone's doing anything remotely interesting uh, at the beach. Oh, yeah. You like if the you know the people when they set up those like half like uh, I'm just picturing walls. Dare getting demolished by waves. Like, Dude, ah, that's what it is? Ah. You get flipped by a and wave. The locals are looking at this guy. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> goodness! Your board flies in the air. Yeah. There's people who know what they're doing, just sitting out a little further and just like just waiting for the and, right and, wave. And then when you're on yeah. the way out, all the locals saw you and they're out oh, of boy. They yeah. saw they saw the yeah. beat. You just <laughs> it's that's exactly if you're trying to learn how to play hockey that's what it would be like oh right and your skates gosh. fly off and your helmet flies off you got to put your helmet back tie your skates back up before friggin truba comes yeah, at you yeah, again and, and yeah there's no like you can't control your environment no right? you cannot control the ocean the no. ocean that, and that's why i mean like reading the ocean like the ocean is in control mm. so so you got to let go to that ocean and like that that was essentially my second flow. my yeah. second time when i'm like yeah i'm gonna surf like get a few oh. more reps in Right, so I bring my surfboard out at like six in the morning, high tide. I look out, and the sea was angry. Lots of white water. The waves were crashing and crashing really quick. Like sometimes they like, they they uh, whatever they they crest, crest and they nice. They're nice, gentle, nice, gentle. Yeah. There's none of that white strong, rapid right? stuff. I look out, and the waves are like fifteen feet tall and just crash all at once. And then again and again, yeah. they're coming quick at you. It's not like a wave every minute. Mm. It's like a wave every ten seconds. And I also look out, and there's no one else surfing. There's no, no one. No one's I'm like, there. Hmm. Probably not the best time to try this. No. Opposite of learning hockey. Mm. Yeah, and and when no <laughs> one's out there either, like you want a couple other surfers to kind of be out there oh, just to like yeah. for safety too. Safety. Yeah. There's yeah. no six a.m. Jerry's going out solo. Has never <laughs> no, done this before. No. Yeah. So, well, well, so at pre- previous days, I was up at our little Airbnb and I'm looking out and I see like 20, 30 people out there catching waves every morning. I saw people out there. Right, mm. so I'm like, I'll get up early and do a little surfing. I went out there. There was no one out there, and I'm like, there might be a reason. There might <laughs> probably be a, reason. a great reason. A yeah. great reason. So I was like, let's try a different. That's beach. common sense. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, some people would be like, wow, no one's out yeah, here. Yeah, Sick. Let's go, let's go catch Sick, the first. Sick, dude. Let's Look at these the waves. Wave. I'm gonna go. Let's catch the first one. Yeah, let's I'm go. Catch the first barrel today. <laughs> first barrel. <laughs> so, I, well, okay. Also, but like, you're also dealing with waves, but you're also dealing with. Uh, coral reefs you're dealing with stingrays oh yeah you're dealing Rock with sharks. sharks yeah you're dealing with barracuda you know what i that's, mean that's it, so jellyfish that's, like you're not just dealing oh, with surfing out the, there the jellyfish or the mono rays oh if my they catch you when you're under the water the what about those war what are they called war they're like war the the purple ones that's isn't that my buddy rays? The manta rays are like no. Um, it's a little. Stingrays. There's a little. It's like a little jellyfish, but they're purple. The box jelly is made. They're like they're poisonous. Uh, my buddy got stung by one of them, and you gotta like pee. You gotta yeah, like pee yeah. on the guy. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't good. He got his dad the piss. But like on if that bag. happens and you're in deep water and there's waves, like you you get shocked, right? So you you're gonna get towed under. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're, not, you're not only scary. dealing with the waves, you're dealing mm-hmm. with a lot of unknown conditions underneath. Yeah. That, the that, ocean. So that's why I'm saying the hardest <laughs> part about surfing isn't the surfing part. It's the, the learning to surf. Yes. You know, if you get me now. Learning to get started. It's learning basically. to be in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Even like, that's a... In, in an hour, you might surf three waves, and yeah. you had to pay the price. Well, yeah, that's right. why when I went in the, in New Jersey there, it was the perfect place to learn. Oh, yeah. Because it's uh, on a timer. Yeah. And every wave is a perfect right. breaking wave to your proper side. You could turn oh, it to the other side. Wow. It's like, uh, like if you want to learn. That's a good learning it, scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's how you learn. Mm-hmm. Like Manufactured waves. It's and like actually incredible. how you like, and it's like, you yeah. can actually learn how to cut. Because once you actually get up, now it's like learning how to Control actually surf. It yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. So shout out to uh, my bud on Instagram. I think it's it's Finn Custom uh, is in New Jersey. 
from what I could tell. Mm-hmm. And he saw me surfing. So that's the other thing about um, about surfing is that there's easier boards and harder boards. So I yeah. I was on this big, big blue, long, but they're they're more difficult to move around. The, the long ones are easy to stand up. They're very buoyant. They're basically like called a boat. Like you're standing on a boat. It's not hard, right? But they're right. heavy. They're a little heavier, yeah. Um, but yeah, just much easier to ride. So Did like, you the, rent a surfboard? I rented one okay. for the week. Yeah, I didn't. I was curious about that because if you just had an Airbnb, if there you... was one there, oh sorry, gun surfboards, not fin gun. Oh okay. Um, yeah, th- 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 there should have been one at the Airbnb. That went sweet. I feel like. But the thing is, it's easy to damage them if you yeah. get a rock uh, and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So anyway, so, so gun surfboards. Uh, he does custom surfboards, handmade in Ocean, New Jersey. And he sent me a message. How fitting, eh? Ocean. Ocean. New Jersey. Yeah, what a great name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he said, um, Jeremy, when, when you are ready for a custom board, I'll trade you a custom for a couple skating lessons. Ah. No way. I was like, I will take that trade any day. This guy makes ridiculously nice surfboards. Like, I don't even think I'd want to ride one. You just put it on the wall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I, I might get, like, a, a hockey. It's hard to show, so you have to Oh, you got to be out there. It's like oh, you turned your phone off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, that's a grandpa move right there. Yeah. My, my flashlight's yeah, grandpa, on. Yeah, grandpa, grandpa you got to turn your phone screen on. So, <laughs> anyways, he, he makes custom surfboards, and I think I was like, yeah, well, I'll, I'll grab a custom one and, and maybe get it painted with like uh, people playing hockey on the top yeah. and then surfing on the bottom, oh, like you flip it. Sick. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah the two sides, that'd two be... sides, frozen water, or... summer and winter. Yeah, summer. Hey, like winter. take it yeah. to take it to a Saga Beach. There you go. <laughs> you can show everyone up because no one around here knows how to surf well. Oh, no. <laughs> Hawaii. I know when I went to Hawaii, um, I learned that's where I learned how to surf. Oh, yeah. I went out with my dad, yeah. and we both had the big boards. This yeah. was like, I wasn't going to the gym at that point. Mm. The, like, the actual, like, rowing, like, the, yeah. with your, like, your shoulders, like, your upper body to surf is, like, insane. Mm-hmm. And then my, so my dad was going, he was, he was struggling a little bit more than me. I got up there. The guy was helping me. We had, like, lessons. Mm-hmm. But then he goes... Um, and there was like tons of people surfing. It was like just crazy. Like, like a every, busy day, a good day. Crazy busy day. Like every, you couldn't even like look around without someone being like beside you. So now you're like fighting for waves. We're learning how to surf. We're like trying to catch a wave. We're trying not to annoy the people beside us. Mm-hmm. So my dad goes and then someone like goes right in front of him. And like, my dad didn't know that you had to like duck if someone's coming. Mm. Gets smoked. Oh no. By another surfboard yeah. coming at him. And he's Ouch. like. I'm done. He goes, yeah. I'm done for the day. He gets oh dummy by someone else coming. Concussion protocol. Yeah, bro. It was such, it was like, but it like was duck like. duck under the water if they're coming? Is yeah, that? he was yeah. like duck. So you don't. Right. Well, they're going on top, right? So yeah. you see someone coming, you get under. Right. Yeah. So yeah, you got dummied, but. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Hawaii's got a lot of. Uh, who knew, who knew surfing there. could be so physical? Oh, it's really? extreme. Full contact? It's like, awful. I meant, I meant like with other people, not yeah. just like. Oh, the, the exertion, oh yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so this is what my brother was saying. Uh. There's there's a lot of people in bikinis and swimsuits on a surf beach, mm-hmm. right? And naturally, yeah. Oh my gosh, Santa Teresa, it's crazy. You turn down the main road, so so like the road to get into Santa Teresa, yeah, it's paved. You turn into Santa Teresa, and it's not paved. It's all dirt. It's which is weird. And then right when you turn, it's all four wheelers and dirt bikes. It's like the wild wild west there. Oh, I love like, that. I love like that. Civilization just doesn't exist here. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's just rocking four wheelers and dirt bikes. And a dirt bike is a family vehicle. Right? Come on. You got a family of four, you're on yo, let's grab a dirt bike with a bit of a longer seat. Like there's <gasps> there's people there just That's with so like a, a three year old, no helmet, five year old, no Take helmet. And then yeah, the three year old's on the front because it's a little safer. The dad's in the middle riding and Whip the five year old's on what the What kind of bikes are these? Are these like high end bikes? Nah, or are it's like, like motorcycles. It's just like you know, like whatever mopeds, mopeds yeah. with bigger tires. Oh no, there, there's more <laughs> There's basically yeah a lot of dirt bikes, yeah. mostly all dirt bikes, lots of four wheelers, and then like little mopeds, and mm. that's just what everyone drives. Well, it's probably easier to maintain and get uh, parts well, for and stuff. A lot of the roads, roads are they dirt? A lot of the roads are not very well maintained. Yeah, that's probably mm-hmm. like, and also just a rip duck. Yeah, also it's a two stroke right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love the smell of that right there. Ooh. Smell it. 
Um, <laughs> you can get down to the beach pretty easily as well with like the yeah, dirt bikes and stuff. Yeah, four wheelers too. Park like, them wherever you want. The beach, yeah. Traffic can sometimes be crazy, and the 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 dirt bikes just rip between everyone. They're just cooler people if that's how they're living. Like, oh, dude, if you're whipping dirt bikes, surfing, yes. and four wheelers. Every four wheeler. How much cooler are you than us? No, way cooler. Every <laughs> way quad. Cooler, every bro. quad has like a little bar with like the pool noodle thing, so the guy can put his surfboard right on the edge. Oh yeah. And everybody's riding with their dogs. Their dogs so on the back sick. of the quad it's with their surfboard. <laughs> like they're not on their phones they're whipping no, their bikes they're no. surfing yeah i love that and and like chicks in bikinis just riding quads oh you know what i mean <laughs> don't get me started that sounds like an absolute over the bumpy wonderful roads vacation. Eh? sounds like he's trying to sell chippy on a vacation yeah it sounds here. like i'm gonna go to costa rica <laughs> anyways so i'm with my brother right and the, the first thing he knows go with you uh, he, he stayed with his wife and his kids uh, for, uh, for like three day, four day overlap. Oh, okay. So we got to hang out on the beach for, together. Okay, double vacation. And and I thought maybe he'd mention the amount of ladies in bikinis. No, no, no. <clears throat> he's talking about the four wheelers. <laughs> Actually, that would be the next one. It should <laughs> yeah. be. No, he's talking about how ripped all the guys are. Oh, oh. Like, he's like, dude. He's like, every guy here has six pack. Every guy packs in six packs. Packs. In. I was like, he's like, look at any guy carrying a surfboard. Absolutely jacked. And I'm looking. I'm like. It you doesn't are. look unusual, though. If you're carrying a Correct. surfboard, you're kind of expected it's to be fit. You know? it's, they're living, but they're living, you know. The amount of work to swim out and go under over waves, and you get up, and the the all the um, fine muscle. Stability muscles. Fi- fine yeah. motor movement muscles, the stability muscles for standing on a surfboard. A lot of core, right? Probably so, less fast food there, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, or is there, there's lots is there, of fruits and veggies. Yeah, you know what I mean? There's no McDonald's in Santa Cruz, so that's for sure. No fast yeah, food. Yeah, so it's the food they're consuming. And, and genetics. Good food. Physicality, the... The balance, like, yeah, surfing's, like, they're the coolest people in the world. I think, like, yeah. I'm sorry, if you're yeah. surfing, you're ripped, <laughs> nice tan. Yeah. Um, Hard to compete with that, you no. know, as a male for the ladies. Yeah, no, hard I'm to saying. compete with a surfer dude yeah. that goes out there and he's steezing the barrel, <laughs> getting the clip of the day, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then coming oh, back, man. having some fruit, probably growing their own fruit. Yeah. Maybe doing a little wheelie on the dirt bike on the way home <laughs> with, the, with the surfboard. Surfboard on the back. Yeah. With, with yeah. Their, like, Are you kidding me? dog. <laughs> Yeah, oh. cool dog, their best friend. Talking about uh, clip of the day. Do you guys want to get into clip of the yeah, week? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. That's so. Thanks for sharing amazing. your uh, the highlights oh. of the trip. I feel like I, I just lived it. I told you I could go on and on, man. So. We'll call that. <laughs> I could have lived there. First twenty minutes, uh, surfer stories. Surfer yeah. stories. <laughs> I like uh, who wants to go first, Chippy? I, I do. I do. Let's. Oh, I have a great clip here. All right. Is it one that they need to see? Yep. Yeah. Well, d- describe it. Yeah, just br- um, tee it up for the heart of uh, well, sight. You guys know I've been making a video every single day yes. mm-hmm. about this, uh, my favorite player, mm-hmm. which happens to be Mojo Pappy. Oh. Yep. And he's just having a extravagant season, heart trophy winning well, season. In my hold opinion. on. Pardon my interruption. They're playing tonight in Florida. Do you want to just like hop on a flight and go check that game out? I wouldn't mind scouting. Yeah, like playoffs. watch him get 70 live. We should scout for the playoffs. Is he going to play? Because Sheldon Keefe, we have beef with Keefe. Beef with Keefe. <laughs> yeah, that's what Chippy and I started. No, we started an episode last year, beef with Keefe. Mm. Segment, yeah. When Keefe says this is a distraction, it's only a distraction if you make it a distraction. No. All he is doing is going out there and scoring every game. If that's a distraction. Wow, it, sorry, Keefe. I want distraction. You know what I'm we saying? We got beef with Keefe. Could you, yes. Could you imagine something that, that bonds your entire team together, that gets them excited and celebrating? Like, you know how happy they're going to be? What's Matthew supposed to do? Go out there and not score? Like, oh, cause a distraction. It's a distraction because he's going out there and scoring every game. I can't. Oh, sorry. I can't help it. <laughs> sorry, but... Coach. Sorry, Keefe. Sorry, Coach, for being a distraction. <laughs> That's what's going to be after. Sorry, Coach, for being a distraction all season. Scored too many goals oh. for you. <laughs> like, can... Are you serious? <laughs> can you can you think of any time where a guy, you had a guy on your team that just scored whenever he wanted, and you're like, oh, it's such a distraction. Can you stop doing it? No. That's when you won. Every game, because you just give it to him. And what a score. distraction oh. Mojo Pappy is for tickling the bar every every game, you know? So I'm assuming this is his uh, naughty number goal. This is a naughty number, yeah. <laughs> this is humor. It's going to be funny, guys. <laughs> He's actually changing his number. <laughs> Here we go. What a quick passing play, too. Oh, beautiful. Mm. Watch it on repeat. 69. <laughs> nice. nice. Imagine he's like, Austin Matthews loves 69. <laughs> what a nip for yeah. 69. On his off wing, just the catch and release, oh, too. Just. Oh, yeah. And you can tell it means it to him. It oh, means yeah. a lot, oh he wants it. Yeah, he wants it. And it's going to happen. 
he's going to get it tonight, I think. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, if he doesn't play tonight, do you really think he's going to play in Tampa? And why wouldn't they play him tonight just to get it over with and let him rest? Bro, there's no way, like, they sit him. Like, if they sit him, there's actually going to be an uproar. I don't get why you would. He's a good player. If anything, You're... it's going to slow him down before the playoffs. Are you not wanting to lock in the chemistry of all your lines leading into playoffs? Why would you rest and, like, keep – that good mojo flowing. Mm-hmm. Domi's out. Domi's out. Oh, yeah? So he's going to play with Marner probably. Mm. Yeah. What happened to Domi? I think they're just resting him. They're like, I don't know. Gotcha. Okay. Rest. He took a bad penalty in the last game, in the last like he few fought. seconds. Did he? <laughs> yeah, he took like a hooking penalty and st- sent them on the penalty kill to start overtime. Whoopsie. Yeah, I heard that, but it's okay. We'll keep flowing. Domi has been uh, outstanding for his uh, playmaking abilities. He's been finding guys. Really He's really well. benefited from playing on that top line, like using his playmaking ability, actually, like Chippy said from yeah. day one of the I said start they the should season. have been together. Mm-hmm. I said Domi should have been on the first line. since, Like, that's the best because you're giving him identity. You're giving him, mm-hmm. as soon as you drop him down the line three, you're just not getting. That's what every other team has done. Yeah, and it's yeah. just like he's a skill guy. He he's is. an offensive machine. Mm-hmm. He, he's dishing the pappy. Mm-hmm. He's hungry, too. For he's, he's a hungry player. He I would argue, it, yeah. I mean, it's a no-brainer. He's been way more effective up there than Matthew Nyes has. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah. For like, sure. And it's partly due to um, probably Matthew Nyes not being used to playing so many games, like so many yeah, minutes, Yeah, experience. Too. Like, because he's played, what, what, like half the amount of games in a season before. Yeah. I will say, though, Nisey's been hammering, guys. Oh, he's God. been battling, yeah. He's been on the fourth yeah. line, he's though. He's taken a few oh. penalties. I don't know though. about him on the fourth. Like, he, he – well, that's because he's on the fourth line. He's I think like, he's taking that mentality. He's like, I'm going to, like, rough some guys up. And yeah. Like, if, I, if I hook him, I hook him, whatever, you know. Yeah. Like. And I feel like that's Nisey's game. Like, he is a big boy. He mm. needs to – he can't be a Matthews 2.0. Like, you're not scoring at Matthews rate. Yeah, no one you is. You need to <laughs> use your body, use that. He's a big boy. Mm-hmm. And he plays, he looks a lot and plays a lot like Matthews along the boards. Like, he's strong on his stick. He hooks a lot. Like, he does, he's competitive. Yeah. But I've been seeing him actually hitting guys, and and I think that's what we need in the playoffs here. I, I think we have, the Leafs have a number of hidden aces mm-hmm. heading into the, I paused at the perfect moment. Burp. <laughs> so burp. Sorry. Um. Leafs have a number of hidden aces heading into the playoffs. They've got Bobby McMahon. It's unknown what he could do. I'm he's not, not playing now. He's, he's I'm injured. I'm not convinced. Um, but I'm just saying, it's, it could be a hidden ace. Yes, right? yes, yes, Bert, yes. Bertuzzi might turn into playoff Bertuzzi like he did yes. with Boston. Right? Uh, Matt Nice with a whole season under his belt now, yeah. mm-hmm. might be a, a, like might really turn it up. Instead of been, being thrown into the playoffs. Like right? and, and, and playoff Domi... Uh, in Toronto, he might embody Ty Domi, his dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, his, yeah. and Ty Domi was a menace during the playoffs. It seems like so. one thing that's clear about their, just like the mentality that it, it looks like they have, or maybe it's just how we feel as fans because of the new personnel. Yeah. But it's like, it seems like the team has um, character now. It's because we didn't yes. trade, every, like we didn't the, trade yes. seven persona. guys away at the deadline. No, yeah. exactly. And yeah. there's like a persona. Like every, it's like everyone on the team bleeds blue now yes and, and that's you know, what was like, missing that's what i felt as a fan i didn't connect with anyone except for going back to like the sundean domi tucker corson like all these guys were characters they had they brought something and, and i think leaves have that in like spades now for example and i'm not saying this is going to happen because i think that this they're going to have a solid performance this playoffs but say they get eliminated in the second round and it's a good battle I'm looking at him like, okay, I tr- like I actually feel like everyone on this team would have given it their all. Yeah. You yeah. know, like there's no one leaving anything on the table, and if they don't succeed this year, it's not for lack of effort, which yeah. is what not – you can't say that for any other year, you know. No, there, there's been years where they lose, and they're like, well, yeah, we're, we'll go on. They just on roll and, over. Well, yeah, they're like, yeah. oh, they lost, and it's like no one cares. There's no emotion. Like, oh, we play, played a good game, and we'll try to win the next one. It's like, what? Like that was what yeah. needed to be fixed this year out of all things was just the – have the team build some character, you know, like, yeah, I feel we, like we have be, a, be offended when you lose yeah. or, or when you have an embarrassing, like four goal, you give up four goals to lose in the third period, you know, like, but I will say, I think that has a lot to do with how they've been sticking up for each other all season with yeah. a Re- Ryan Reeves. Like mm-hmm. you may not think that was a big piece to add, but Dude. the mojo yeah. yeah, play, play my clip, play my clip. Oh, okay. beautiful. I love that. Th- this one. You do have to see, you uh, have to see it, but, 
well, that's why I'm saying it's a clip of the week. They're going to listen to it and be like, I want to see what, what, you know, the puck daddies were talking about. Right. Is right? it this but, guy? No, no, no. Uh, uh, this one right here. No, uh, yeah, that, this this fight with Reeves. Revo. I absolutely love it. it. So the part that I want to mention is a little bit later. Oh, we talked clip. about this, Chip, you and I, last week, too. Oh, but, did you? Yeah. Okay. Never, you uh, sent it in, so we... Oh, uh, okay. So what, what did you talk about? We Well, like I said how Reeves... Just bringing the energy with the fight. Well, mm-hmm. Pizzetta, because Pizzetta, no, no, no. I hit. Um, um, there, there's a very specific moment that you need to Matthew. see. Matthew, Matthew, yeah, face. we talked about that. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Tell me that doesn't fire the boys up. So it's Reeves fighting. What's the guy's name? Pizzetta. Pizzetta on Montreal. In Montreal. So find that clip and and watch through the fight. Well, I'll play it right I, now, just in the background. Like, oh, you're gonna play it? Uh, yeah, just so while can, you're talking. Oh, for the people watching. Perfect. Yeah. I rewatched this clip a few times, and I went right to where Ma- it, it cuts to Matthews. I have never seen him happier. He is absolutely he looks crazed. Like he looks crazed. like possessed. Possessed. Almost. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely fired up. Look at so, Revo. Look at Revo. Oh, no. pow, boom, boom. He's playing the steel Egg drum. Hey? Oh yeah. You want to? You want to mess with our guy? Just ragged all you. And, yeah. Uh, a huge fight. And watch Matthews. Whoa! <laughs> it's such a they cut away from it so quickly. I need that on repeat. Yeah. I need that on repeat. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, like look, at, look at Revo goes to the bench and just like, fires the boys up. Yeah. You know what? Exactly. Like the boys are gelling with that kind of stuff. Like, and that's gonna happen in the playoffs. That's too. what I'm saying. The guys are connected. They're oh. connected. That fight and Matthews just with his arms straight down, his head like up. Like Sam Bennett shaking his head. Shaking in his boots. Because oh. if you do something, you are having to face that. That's yeah. why I'm thinking they, they have to put Reeves in the lineup tonight. Oh, you have to. Just mm. because, like, you can't have them taking any exceptions with the Stars in this game. you got to have Reeves to hold them accountable. Put him on with Matthews. Yeah, put him on the first line. Who cares? Who cares? Well, I mean, Matthews does need – once Matthews gets 70, then put no, Reeves on uh, the first uh, line. You know? give a backdoor you need, dish. You need, yeah, yeah. You need Domi up Reeves there. He's got skill, bro. He's been <laughs> playing good at the end of the season here. Yeah, that's fair. That's he, fair. He's been – yeah, buzzing. That, he's yeah. only scored a couple, too. Like, right, yeah. But like, yeah, you got it. Like having a guy that you have to face, mm-hmm. you might not uh, take that extra run. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To knowing that, mm-hmm. like, you might not scream in the goalie's face <laughs> when you're Radko Gudis. Yeah, but Gudis is Gudis is kind <laughs> of Gudis an isn't on the. He's team. an animal yeah, though. Too. I feel like yeah. Gudis is. Yeah, he's a monster. He's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> like he's not even worried about Rebo yeah. either. But, no. um, but yeah, like a a, a Kachuk or a Sam Bennett, like, mm-hmm. like they don't have that many tough For guys. Higgy. Or, or yeah, he's a pet. He's yeah, a bit of a pest. Yeah, like, you know what he, I mean. Like, yeah. do that. Or no cousins, cousins, cousins. That's is who has the, oh, most, yeah. the most. Yeah, hated exactly. I don't know why I get him and Verhiege. Oh, Verhiege is the sniper. It's just gonna yeah, be no. unreal because Revo's just gonna go in there and just hammer their defenseman. <laughs> yeah. Because we get hit every time in the playoffs. We never seem to have a guy that will just go out there battering ramp and just only boom, try to boom. hit. Mm, and him yeah. and Nyes maybe on the fourth line, just going out there and pummeling guys. Maybe bang in a couple. Maybe bang in a couple goals. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. maybe let us, let a couple in as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, Keep it interesting. So J- Jerry, you have another clip here, right? Yeah, yeah. This one you don't have to see. I just found it hilarious. So uh, th- this is uh, an account called Co- Coach Ball Game, mm-hmm. and this guy is basically giving uh, advice to baseball parents. And I want to draw the parallels to crazy. Any travel sport has crazy parents. Yeah. Right. So baseball in the states. Any moderately competitive. Sport. Anything, dude. Not <laughs> even competitive. Like, you can have crazy cheer parents. Right. And oh, every single thing that their kid is doing. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's chess, buddy. If, okay? <laughs> if, <laughs> if you have to travel. Knight should have went to E4. What are you yeah. doing? <laughs> <laughs> if you have to travel, if you have to travel, the parents just become psychos. That's it. Mm. Like, if you just drop your kid off at the local gymnasium there, yeah, to play yeah. some volleyball. They're invested now. Yeah, you yeah. don't care. You just drop your kid off at, at the... Or when it costs six grand for league fees. That's it. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. There you go. Now yeah. you have the right to scream at your You're kid. entitled now, right? <laughs> oh, we dropped 5K on the, on the season's On the little league. Yeah. yeah. And got even you extra. Snowboard, even the snowboard pass. You're not using it enough. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so... So you don't really have to watch this one. I just, I found it hilarious. It's called Don't Instruct from the Bleachers. So throughout the clip, the guy is just giving examples of like what parents yell from the bleachers, right? right. And and it's the same as parents yelling from the... We got to play it. All right, play it, play it. Instruction from the bleachers is kind of like putting ketchup on a poop sandwich. Elbow up. Elbow down. Elbow, elbow. (laughs) 
It doesn't work. Hitting a baseball is incredibly difficult. So when your kid's in the batter's box, I pose this question to you. What will help them succeed? Nine loud voices from the bleachers. Swing at strikes. Don't step out. This is a huge moment. I'm reminding you how much this moment means to me by yelling right now. <laughs> Do it for your country. <laughs> America. Or one quiet voice from the third base coaching box. See impact. I think deep down you know the right. answer. I pa pause <laughs> it here. So the reason I love this. See impact. The reason I love this, you could just draw the parallels to any – hockey thing yeah. that parents are all. but the best part is when you go to the comments and the top comment is some lady sorry but that doesn't work for some children <laughs> some kids prefer to hear I know better that helps them every single day before practice besides blah 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 teaching working there blah 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 without blah 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 right goes on and on and if you click the re view reply I know I want to see right, she's going to get reply. shredded the here. number one oh, oh yeah. it's not there okay not organized no no so so this lady goes off in the comments and the number one response to her is Man, she can't even shut up in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> That's gold. Oh I laughed so hard because you just know she's the parent yelling things at her kids, right? She oh, she, and she, dude, they live for these comment sections. Cause look at the replies, bro. Oh. She's replying to everyone. <laughs> oh, if you're replying to a, no way, she if is. If you're replying on an Instagram, she feed, took it. On someone else's video, dude. She took a day off do work. A favor. She took a day off work to respond to every single Bro, one. every single one. That's if insane. you were replying on like a thread on someone else's oh, video. Here's the, I found the comment. Yeah. Where is <laughs> it? Please get off your phone. She can't even shut up in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Just L, big L, right there. Oh, that. Geez. It's so Didn't good. respond to that one, eh? She, she <laughs> no. 670 likes. Every other one has one like. like. She writes a three-page essay in response to this video, and this guy ends her in, like, nine words. Oh, my gosh. She can't even shut up in the comments. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's so good. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's my clip. What does our week. world come to? We are arguing in a virtual yeah. video <laughs> comment section. It's ego, buddy. It's oh the ego, isn't it? Oh, my gosh, bro. And I've been there, too, where you feel like replying, and uh. I'm like, yo, what am I doing with my life? Dude. Turn my yep. phone off yep. and just get off this video. So much, I, I've had some people, and they say something, and I'm just like. But it's your call. At least it's your video. Like, someone else's video. Yeah. And you're like, come on, bro. Oh, that is so true, actually. It's, it's all I leave a comment and just leave it there. I could, if people, I could troll people, and I don't care. How oh, much you they just say. eat the popcorn. You just yeah. pop some popcorn <laughs> and look at everyone argue about your comment back and forth. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, because like you, there's always two sides to each pre like argument, mm -hmm. yeah. right? But you don't have to. Like, it, it's a little petty if you respond to every single one. Yeah, and and even ones on mine. Sometimes someone will comment and say something that's a little, like cuts a little deep. You literally can't win. No, and and then I start typing and I delete it and I think of something even better to say and I start typing and I'm like. The best thing to say is nothing. And then I'm like, yeah, you know literally. what? Delete. I don't care. And, I delete it. Yeah. And, and I delete some comments. Myself. Yeah. Just replying <laughs> signifies that you even care. Yeah. Deleting is so elite, though. Like <laughs> the fact that you could just delete their comment. Oh no, I, I leave it up there sometimes. No I, like, no, I mean I delete like what I'm typing, and I'm just like, delete whatever. If, if it hits a little too close to home, I'm deleting it. <laughs> sometimes. No, I I have deleted some other things too, where I'm like, this guy's just an idiot. But like it's beautiful. <laughs> you can just remove. Yeah. You could just remove it. Just and remove now, it. And now, poof, be gone. How mad is that? Because they're going to go look to see if anyone, yeah. where'd my comment go? <laughs> oh, yeah. But but sometimes, they get, sometimes they get carved by your other fans. You're like, I'm going to leave that one up. Yes. I'm going to let that person just. Yeah, honestly, sometimes I don't even look at the comments just because. Yeah, it, post and it, ghost. It can be, um, yeah, just post it and just. Yeah. You post it because you wanted to post it. And if people, and it's awesome when people do enjoy it, but. Also, it's like I can't be taking opinions from 190 people in the comment section. Like, so, so yeah. when I used to care about the comments, what I found, like some guy would just sit, like when I, I feel like you always do care. Like we always say, oh, well, I don't care about the comments. Like you love when people like like your videos and they like said love and be like, oh, this video's funny, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. I do care about those comments. It's very polarizing, though. Yeah, like it's it's a love hate relationship. What, like, what I'm saying yeah. is. I get. I used to not understand where, like, so I'd be like, "What?" Like, and and I would care about like that person sort of thing, right? Yeah. If they're saying something, um, that's like attacking me, yeah. I'm like, I'm trying to help people learn how to play hockey. Like in my earlier videos, when all I did was training videos, I'm like, "What do you mean? Like, th this is great." Like, I I literally. 
taught this to some kids earlier this day. Yeah, like what's your what's and your it problem? helped them. Yeah. I saw that it works, <laughs> and now I'm putting on YouTube like, what is your deal, right? And, and a guy would say something like, "You're." You don't know what you're talking about. You have no business teaching hockey, something like that, right? Yeah. And and then I would like respond to the guy and have like a private conversation. It would end up that like, I don't know, it, it was some personal thing that had nothing to do with me, and he was just pissed off about something else. Like yeah. it's always, you know I mean? it's always something on on their mind, not nothing yes. to do with you. And that's what sometimes I sometimes they could be venting, and it's not even related to your video. Yeah. Ev- every single time, it was some personal thing that they were dealing with that mm-hmm. they were putting out onto me. That right, and then once like I had a private conversation, like I would understand that. So then, whenever I see people that are really pissed off about something, like oh, so like they had a coach that abused them or something. You know what I mean? Like yeah, no, it's yeah. yeah. Literally, if you're going out of your way to comment something negative on someone else's post, how shitty is your day going? Mm -hmm. Like, what is on your dome piece to to have to go onto some random person's video that they created and comment something negative? Mm -hmm. Like, you just have to have empathy for them. Like, just how negative of a reality are you living in to have to do that? Like, yeah. Some people, they, they come at like from the right, like they have the right Just people motives. Think comment like matters. Like, I, like I hate when people think that they're like comment, like they're like, they got this opinion that like is matters. Yeah. You know what I mean, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. your opinion doesn't matter. Sorry. Like, well, there, mine doesn't either, but neither does yours. Like, there's the know-it-all, like expert guys uh, going back to like hockey coaches, yeah. where they feel no one else has the right to coach because no one has learned as much as they have. Like, they have like a PhD in biomechanics and stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? You don't need that to d- teach the basics. And they're like, oh, like I I deal with kids all the time who have learned bad habits from coaches, and now I have to fix them. And it's like that's okay. the equivalent of saying I'm older than you, so I know better. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. the, the reality. It, it's just ignoring reality that not everyone like learns be, the same because every like every minor hockey coach in Canada is a volunteer position that we can't all take uh, PhDs mm-hmm. to teach eight year olds. There's multiple <laughs> ways to I mean? get to the same destination, you know, like, yeah, oh, yeah. you can you can teach Connor McDavid how to skate. You know, like whoever taught him how to skate might not have been an expert in biomechanics. Here's the know? real. Yeah, you might not even be a great skater, but you could be a great coach. Yeah. The difference between yes. being skilled, like mm-hmm. McDavid yes. might not be, you know, he can do all these moves, but he's just so effortless and doesn't even think about them that and, he wouldn't even know how to break it down. And, and here's the real reality is that no coach made McDavid, no coach made Crosby. You know what I mean? None of them were made. It's they, they were born to like find their way to the top yeah. and and a lot of coaches helped them along the way someone might have but, watered their their seed a right. little bit their but, sap but if you take the <laughs> best skills coach in the world <laughs> the best the best skills coach didn't create like they didn't have a guaranteed success rate of everyone that they worked with made it to the NHL mm. you know what i mean sometimes because they're really good the best players find them and they connect and they help them yeah you know, that kid that that was a fast horse to begin with no matter who yeah. mm-hmm. right yeah, like some of the relationships really help you yes. uh, thrive, and I think a lot of it's probably more mindset. Where like some of the coaches are really helping them mentally, yep. and mm-hmm. oh yeah, uh, that's becoming more and more the skill a thing, side. Yeah. yeah, like it's very difficult. Like a punch turn, like you either you know are naturally can do a punch. You can definitely learn a punch turn, but some of these kids just can learn it. But it's the actual mental side. That, that, that's what I'm saying. You could put Crosby on the ice when he was young with any coach, and he would have been the best on the ice. And then he would have moved up to the next level and been the best on that team and then moved up to the next level and been the best on that team and then found a coach that, like, is teaching them. You know, he would have just kept moving up yeah. and, and being, like, the, the cream of the crop. Yeah. yeah. It's not one guy. Like, he would have been a, a nobody except for one coach taught him everything and now, now he's, you know what I mean? That doesn't Yeah, happen. it doesn't make sense. I, and then going back to comments sections. Oh, yeah, um, that's where we were. Yeah, yeah that's where we were. Uh, the, there are some people that just are trying to be rude because it's funny. Yeah, like trolls. Yeah. yeah, which is funny. Which is like sometimes like troll in the back, the, like whatever. The hard part is, is when you see people that don't understand, they're just trolling, and then they're they're debating with them. Oh yeah, and yeah they're yeah. like, no, it's like, dude, you just but you, even you trolling, missed that on the even joke. Troll, like trolling yeah. is literally like pranks, and that's like that's, that's, that's evil. It's like the devil, like like the trick <laughs> trickery. Yeah. Oh, like it is. It's like it's, a, a troll is like an evil character. It's evil. It's ah. like it's well, it's not. You're you're trying to deceive people. You're trying to. Mm-hmm affect people's energy like it's a it's it's actually evil it's like an evil thing to do it's very negative like pranks like it's actually not uh like it's not that funny no the person getting pranked like it's um i'd say there's such thing as positive trolls well it's like yeah like if it's if it's like lighthearted, but like 
when you scare the crap out of somebody. Right. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, like, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's how funny is that. The guy almost had a heart attack, and he's like got PTSD now every time he walks into a room. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just checking one of the comments I left was a bit of a, a troll comment. See. <laughs> <laughs> you left a you left a troll one. I don't I don't often, but sometimes it was like I'd say there's like sarcastic trolling, and then if people just don't are just too dumb to understand the sarcasm, yeah, that's like, like, like not sarcasm, really negative, but yeah. sarcasm's like a low level of comedy. Like yeah, like I feel like sometimes like I was sarcastic and I'm like oh, I'm just being like sometimes it's just rude. I'm sometimes just being, yeah, it's I'm just good. being a, like an ass. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what right. I mean? It's like is it that funny or am I just being right? <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like there's like sarcasm that's like yes. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, sometimes, yeah, it's it's a fine line. Very fine line. Uh, anyways, comedy's, yes. Comedy's a fine line of, like, making fun of stuff without, like, hurting people's feelings. And yes. then, like. Anyway, let's move on. In, let's in, move on. What in hockey wins? news. Oh, great. Canada wins again. <laughs> <laughs> Women's World Cup. Canada, go, Canada gold, baby. <laughs> oh, God. This, this, this right here is exactly what's wrong with Canada. You know what I mean? Like. The, the, oh um, great canada wins uh, again. oh great canada wins again <laughs> mean, meanwhile like if lithuania wins gold like they make it a national holiday shut down the whole, like parades through the city know, yeah. Everyone leaves work. we're expected it's different when you're expected to win it's like uh like if you don't win it's actually more of an impact than if you do yeah yeah if, if Pe- more people know about it yeah that's exactly yeah. it if canada wins oh great canada won again and then if they don't all right, we need to rework the entire minor hockey system. We need to fire everyone involved in the executive chairs. Yeah, like we Canada need to do... might have to rename their country yeah. because they're no longer the best at hockey in the world. And that's our only identity is being good at hockey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And if we're not good at that, what are we as a country? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to give a shout out to the, yeah, the ladies. Team Congrats to the Mary ladies. Mary Philippe Pelan with two goals. Yeah. Aaron Ambrose with a, a big one, too. Uh, overtime, I got a overtime. I got a question. Is the PWHL going to make it even harder for any other team to ever compete for gold? Because it's always Canada versus U.S. for the gold. Canada versus U.S. for the gold. Does Finland or Sweden even stand a chance? What, what, sorry, well, where did I don't, the PWHL well, I, come yeah, into this? PWHL is a professional women's hockey league. It's going to be mostly American and Canadian girls playing in it, which is going to further improve their skill level, which right. will make it even. It'll it'll make an even wider gap. Well, no, I think that as the PWHL grows, they'll as import, they expand. They'll have to start like getting more players from other countries too, and then eventually it'll grow and there'll be more. Okay. It's kind of like back when, uh, like. When the NHL first started, the NHL used to be all mostly all Canadians, yeah, Americ- some Americans, and then like no Russians, no Europeans, yeah, like, and then eventually odd, it starts yeah. growing, right? Like as the, and especially with the PWHL and the NHL like both growing, yeah, the more countries are gonna like start picking up hockey, and more young ladies are gonna want to play. I just feel you that know, so. with the PWHL in our media more then more American and Canadian girls will be seeing hockey. As I think like it's going to be exposure hockey. for other countries too, though. Like, well, cause like if you girl? watch, if you have a, like a dad, say, say you're a young, a young girl, you have a dad that watches the NHL. Mm-hmm. The dad is going to be like, Hey, we should watch the PWHL too. It doesn't right. matter if you're in Canada or us. Like, yeah, the marketing dollars might not be there in the other countries, but they're still going to try to find ways to watch. Who's know? that girl that was dominating the, Oh, in the, in the oh yeah, fourteen. And the check, yeah. Is that check? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we talked about her. I forget incredible. her name. Incredible. She's nasty, but like just like one having one girl like that for che- Czechia. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Girls can look up to her. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's true. Yeah, I think the game's definitely developing. Like you're seeing even back in the day with the men's, it, like it always used to be Canada, U.S. But now you got Finland. Now you got Czechia. Now Sweden. You got Sweden. Yeah. Um, I think you're going to see the same thing happen with the women's. Yeah, hockey. it's just going to take like a couple generations. Yeah, basically. exactly. Yeah. The more the more young girls that want to pick up the game and play in other countries, because there are countries that have lots of hockey systems. Yeah. They're going to be increasing their output of young women that play hockey. And naturally, the PWHL is going to expand to have more players come in mm. with more teams, you know? So yeah, like, I guess if you can, like, the guaranteed uh, income is 80000 right? Or, no, no, not sort of guaranteed, but, like, they have to pay at least four people that amount or something. Yeah, there's yeah. some, there's actually, like, it's a pro league. They have to get paid, basically. Yeah. Well, yeah. And they're, so, <laughs> they're selling the barns so. out. Yeah, like, they're killing it. Yes. Man. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's good on them for, uh, like, I'd say that's a, is that one of the most, most successful, successful startups? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. yeah, that was like, huge. League? That was huge. Yes, very successful. Yeah, and, like, 
we know that hockey is a very gate driven uh, sport. Yeah. Right. So the fact they're able to sell out every game pretty much like that's, that's just a great sign to. They pick the right spots, for, I guess. Yeah, yeah, true. Like the big markets. Oh, they basically yeah. want original six type cities. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like if they rock the original six type scenario for like four or five years. And just then, to like start a solid foundation and then slowly build from there. I think there's and, and the pretty... game like they're these girls are hitting each other. It's, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's yeah. They, no they joke, had bro. the the Ottawa team had uh, ah, who was it? They had they had a former Ottawa Senators player uh, running a, a hitting clinic. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. They were fully body checking. R- running yeah, them through like, drills. Yeah, they, were they were literally fully... showing them how to body check. I, I yeah. followed the guy. It was Twitter, a full on hit in overtime, like a body check, no yeah. call. I'm like, okay, like <laughs> no like, call. Yeah. Um, so so the girl's name is, uh, from Czech, is Nella Lopusanova. Okay, yeah, we wouldn't have yeah, remembered. No, it's, she it's was hard. hitting some meshies. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, she, she's crushing. She had 49 points in eight games. <laughs> well, she's she's Czech, yeah, I thought. Yeah. Oh, not, not Russian. She's not crushing. 49 not points crushing. in eight games is crazy. 49 points. That's eight. nuts, yeah. 28 oh, goals man. in eight games for the. And uh, she was an underager? Yeah, underager. Yeah. Nuts. That's pretty crazy. Goals in eight games, ridiculous. Uh, I, one more thing. Well, not just a small thing, but I wanted to talk about the the wild card race and the yes, and the NHL. Let's that. get back to the NHL here. Yep. So there's three teams really that are in the mix, but it's the t- it's two that I want to talk about because they're the most likely, and that's Washington. Who, if they win tonight, then they they're in the last wild card they spot. They got a tough game, oh. right? They play Philly. Oh, okay. Well, um, which is kind of a tough game because yeah, it's not easy because Philly still has a chance if they win, and oh. both uh, Detroit and um, Pittsburgh lose their next game or something. Like so it basically, they what happened to Florida last year. Yeah. Oh, so true. So it's it's very unlikely. Um, but if Washington wins, they're in. If they and, lose, and, then Detroit um, is in. Is is Ovi taking over that game or what? They won against Boston last night. That was a must-win too. Yeah, and Detroit's been. Back have you seen back. Detroit's two over? T- like they won against Holy Raymond. The Leafs. They were down four-one. Yeah, and then they came back against Montreal, won like overtime. It kind of feels like Detroit's gonna be. Yeah, like if you look at the standings, it's it sucks for Detroit. I'm, a, I'm an OB guy though. Like so, uh, Detroit and uh, Washington are tied for points right now. They both have one game left. But Detroit has more regulation wins or something? Yes. But or no, t- Washington does, sorry. Washington has more regulation wins. So Fair even about. if um, Detroit wins their next game, they still wouldn't beat Washington if Washington wins yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah. So basically Detroit needs no, Washington they, they, to they'd lose. They'd be tied. They'd be tied, but the regulation wins breaks the tie. Tie so Washington will. Washington's at 39 win. wins. Detroit's at 40. No, Detroit's at 27 regulation Oh, regulation wins. Yeah. So that's weird, right? Like you'd think wins is more important, but no, regulation wins is Makes what sense. the tiebreaker is. Yep. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to like I want to see Detroit make it because I just feel like we want another original six team. Like I don't know what it is, but like we have what four Canadian teams in the playoffs this year. If there was any like team other than like a Canadian team that I'd want to root for, other than the Leafs, obviously, uh, we can all agree on that. It want to be I'd want it to be original six team. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I, I'm a big like OB. I want to see Detroit go on a run. Yeah. I'm a big OV guy, so I'm gonna have to stop that take <laughs> real quick and say we need Ovechkin in the playoffs because it's OV. What about Crosby? This guy goes out there and hammers guys. I I've always been an Ovechkin guy. Like if we look at the percentage, my favorite player going. chance here, the Penguins have uh, less than twenty percent chance. Ooh, that's tough. Probably about ten percent. That's tough. Uh, the Capitals. About 20, 21% maybe. That seems odd. No, um, it's because Detroit. Who, who's? Uh, where is Detroit? Go, go up to Red Wings. Down. There it is. Oh, they have a higher chance. Huh. That's weird. This goes backwards to my logic. Uh, but Does this take into account the tiebreakers? How, how many games played do we have on here? Oh, maybe this isn't updated. So, sometimes they don't update it for a few days. Yeah, that's probably what it is. We're on the Sports Club Stats site right now, if anyone's wondering. And, yeah, it's probably not updated. I don't, I don't see any games played uh, thing here. So Me neither. <laughs> yeah. uh, it shows the last game in the bottom here. They played the last game that was on the Monday. Everyone's lost the Capitals. Oh, Monday. Yeah. You see the Red Wings. So, yeah, yeah, so it's a bit delayed. So, Caps play on a back-to-back here. But, but it also... Oh, it's updated if they have a Bruins loss. It also accounts for um, how important the games are and, like, uh, the, the chances of other teams winning and losing their matches and the weights of those yeah. as well. So, according to this site, 
the Red Wings are more likely to make the playoffs than the Capitals. Which well, all, all the Capitals have to do is win tonight. I have one question, I guess, and this is why I brought it up. Of the teams that could make the wild card spot left, yep. who do you think has the greatest chance of going on a deep run if they make it in? Oh, I like that. So we're talking, what, Washington, Between Detroit? Washington, Detroit, Philly, Pittsburgh. I mean, th- there's a couple long shots there, but if they were to make it in, who do you give the biggest shot to go on a long run in the playoffs? I- I'd say Detroit because they have the most pieces. <laughs> but they also I'd have say, the least experience I'd in the playoffs. Washington. I'd say Washington, John Carlson, OV. Hmm. I, I don't know. I, who's in net for th- these guys, I guess? I would say the, the goalie would matter probably the most. That's a good point. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I don't know who's who is in net. I don't know for. any of them. I know. But <laughs> you're, you're taking, like, what about Pittsburgh? Because they've got, what? They, they got Crosby. Crosby. And, <laughs> they, yeah. I just don't. I'm not sold on the Eric Carlson back no. end. So I'm putting, if Philly squeezes in somehow, I'm putting them the first round exit. That's like. Okay. They wouldn't make it past the first round. There's no way they can squeeze in, bro. If Detroit made it in, they'd be playing. uh, Let me see. Who would they be playing? They'd be in the second spot, so they'd be playing New York? Oh, I think they're saying uh, Detroit has a good chance to make it because they're playing the Canadians. Oh, man. Their next game is against Canadians. They're probably going to, like, Good Even though they had to come back to win in overtime against them the other night. Oh. <laughs> like Washington, New York, Rangers, bro. Ovi's going out there and crushing guys, man. <laughs> Ovi's a machine. I'm telling you, we need Ovechkin in the playoffs. It's the best. Yeah. He's going to break Gretzky's record. He's going to light it up round one. It's funny because if he scores in the playoffs, one. the goals don't count yeah, towards do. the record. <laughs> yeah, they do. Do they? I don't think so. No, no. Uh, only regular season ones yeah. count. But then, no. there's playoff stats as well. There's yeah, playoff stats, but the all, all-time goals, the playoff ones don't count. Chippy just learned something. <laughs> I think you guys are wrong. No, we are not. What do you mean playoff goals don't? No, count? they count, but they don't count towards like a record all for time. the all-time goals. Yeah, How? there's playoff all-time goals. Yeah, it's no, a separate that's category. Ridiculous! It's just NHL goals. That's no. just no, it's not. Guys. That's oh, not it's, how they've no, kept it's, the stat. I don't trust you guys. It's because every because <laughs> every single player plays like you know the same amount of regular season. No, games. once they get hurt, so, no, if they. Well, yeah, but that's outside. They of, have the opportunity to. Yes, they have the opportunity to play the exact same amount of regular season games, and then if one player is just on a better team and gets like an extra twenty games every single year of playoffs, it's mm-hmm. because they're scoring. Hmm? So that's how it goes. That's. Ridiculous. Right, it's <laughs> the the your NHL total is based on your regular seasons. Not, yeah, not the playoffs. Um, I disagree with that. <laughs> so in our next episode, yeah. we are gonna all three of us are gonna come prepared with our brackets. Oh, because next oh, episode, yeah, I mean, we'll all, we'll have a bit of a three. teaser because I predicted that full first round last year. Well, we're gonna have a bit of a teaser because the game ones will have already started, right? Yeah, yeah. Like there's a. What, maybe even game two by Tuesday next week. But anyway, we're going to have our brackets ready, and you guys can compete against us with your bracket. What are you doing? Just comparing Tan here. Oh, okay. Jared's Jared. got ADHD yeah, here. He's like, where, where I was <laughs> 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 reaching Jared over. A yeah. little reach well, over. <laughs> I noticed how white your arms were compared to mine, and then I was like, look at Chippy's legs. Dang, those things. I was tan- I was tanning. Oh, look at that. That's nice. It's like milk. Like milk. Look at that. Okay, I was trying to say. There's a little bit of sun on these legs. Um, we had a couple. Uh, I was looking at them too. I'm like, I gotta kind of cover my thighs here. Mm. I gave you him guys some sun are, though. You guys are just. I was out tanning this morning. Crazy. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah. All right, playoff brackets. You, you done? Yep. Well, couple, let's wrap the episode. A couple, up. a couple of the puck daddies were asking if we're gonna do the Sportsnet fantasy pool again, but we can't. Did Jared just? Sorry, did Jared just? Check his watch, and there's nothing on his wrist. No, I'm, I'm uh, rotating. He's just admiring I thought, his I thought, tan. I thought you I'm were checking, checking your watch. I, th- I, I literally just saw Jerry check his watch. And oh my! He doesn't gosh. have a watch on, so I was just. I was it's just a going, freckle past the hair. I was going to one of these. Jerry's yeah. checking his tan on the camera right now. All right, this is the last time I'm going to try to say this. What is Hayden saying? Sorry. But people, just, people were asking about the Sportsnet fantasy thing, like the playoff pool we did last year. We can't do it because Sportsnet nixed it. They're not doing it this year. Huh, Mon? Are you serious? Really? Yeah. Their their software always was. Do they not like? No, it it worked okay. fine. They just they just decided not to do it. They probably cheaped out budget cuts or something. But but like with That's gambling crazy. being so prolific, like don't they? It's s- not. There's no money in it. It's literally just a giveaway, like to the winners. Yeah, but they could put tons of ads on the side. They could yeah, upsell this and that. Like ah, they're idiots if they're not running it and finding oh. out how to monetize it. Yeah, fighting words. But they are like fighting words. There's oh man, there's so many ways I can improve Sportsnet and NHL. Like okay. If you're like this, NHL gave up their rights to streaming. They just gave it to Sportsnet. 
But when you used to watch the NHL streaming, every commercial break, it would just give you a blank screen and say commercial break in progress. Was it Game Center? It was called Game Center. Yeah. Yeah. Put a commercial there. Yeah. Yeah. Make some money. Yeah. And then charge me less. Yeah. Exactly. Anyways, go. I on. guess the the challenge that they probably faced with it is that they suck. They work with all these right. gambling companies. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Yes. But anyway, so we can't do that. But instead, what I what I've done is I've set up the NHL bracket challenge. You can go to our website. Yep. And go to the more link or go to our Instagram profile and click there. And there's two different brackets you can enter. One with the NHL website and one with ESPN. So you have two chances to win. Oh. So if you enter the same one twice and win two, then we'll send you two products from the is, merch is store. Is the ESPN one also a bracket challenge? Yeah. Okay. They're both bracket challenges. Because I like the Sportsnet one because it's like you're doing points. And I know. It's more fun yeah. to do the players, but there's nowhere to literally do that. you got to f- hop on Reddit ask them if there's a I, d- I was looking. I searched for like a month to try to Office find something. Pools. I considered building something what, myself. What about Yahoo Sports? Officepools.com. That still exist. Yeah, there's Yahoo Sports, but that's like for the whole season. They it's not office, like. Office pools. I've never heard of that. Officepools.com. But it's probably like it's, it's like per player. It's it's great. You draft you draft your team. Mm. Oh, I think maybe you have to you have the person that runs it has to put the team. Oh my goodness, Jared just spilt his oh my God. sparkling water myself. all over his. I've wet myself. Or did you urinate on yourself? I have wet myself. Jared's just it. antsy over here. Anyway, if that we wraps find... up episode. No, we have four fifty to... of Puck Daddy <laughs> Pod, whatever. We're yeah. Hayden, please continue. No, I got the message out there. If you want to compete against us, us with the bracket challenge. The winner. Oh, yeah, both gosh. sides are great. Both the winner are great. will get some merch. Oh, what Jared's doing. That's right. all I was trying to say. Winner will get some merch. Jared's Go join Jared. the bracket challenge, and we'll see you guys on Friday. Like, Cheers. Jared is just change excited for. I don't know what Jared's doing. Bug. You got the ca- couch soaking wet here. It's okay, it's just water, eh? Difference. A little bit of lemon flavor. Is it a Dimatex material? Yeah, I think it should be good.